Well, how about having yourself the best possible cup of coffee? You've got me. Jason Parkin is in the Wood Harbor kitchen right now, and he has a guy who knows how to do this, Jason. Patrick Dinkins is here from Cameron's Coffee, and uh, I'm not going to want to have our coffee here ever again, am I, after this segment? <laughs> now, I, I want to I talk him up a little bit. He's one of, we, we all have an idea. In fact, if you watch the show, we've had sommeliers on this show who are, are wine experts and wine tasters. Well, Patrick is the equivalent of that in coffee, and there are only 131 in the About country. 321. 321 yep. Of, yep. of you. Wow. So there yeah. aren't very many of you uh, an expert on taste. And uh, I guess I'll just kind of let you walk us through this. I'm sure I'll, I'll have questions as we go along. <laughs> okay. Uh, now this is coffee that is available in Des Moines. Yes, yeah, okay. you can buy the Cameron's brand at hy -Vee, and you can also go to our website and find more local stores to find it as well. And why did you choose with your skills to work for Cameron's? Um, I've been in, Cameron, uh, been in coffee for about 14 and a half years. Mm -hmm. I started out working in a warehouse and just kind of worked my way up and discovered that I had an aptitude for roasting and for tasting coffee. Um, and Cameron's needed somebody with my skill set. They opened a new facility about seven years ago in Shakopee, Minnesota. Okay. And we only source 100% Arabica specialty grade coffee, which is about 10% of the coffee produced in the world. And that comes from? All over the world. Okay. Basically, coffee is grown between the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn. They okay. call that the coffee belt that goes around the world. So you have coffees from Indonesia, Africa, Central and South America. All as it, and it runs the gambit. And know. it's it's grown kind of in cooler, higher elevations usually. It's grown in basically like tropical, higher elevations. Okay. Most of the coffees that we buy are all uh, specialty grade. So that means they're grown between three and five thousand feet. Okay. On the side of a mountain. And you've got a number of them here, but you know I think a lot of Americans uh, probably buy their their pre-ground, mm -hmm. uh, mass-produced coffee, yeah. and, and they're missing out, aren't they? And yeah, the yeah, I think so. <laughs> We've got a couple of uh, ways to demonstrate to brew some coffee at home. I have a French press and then a pour over, and they're both pretty easy to do. You weigh out your coffee beforehand. Best way to do it is to grind it at home before you do it as well. Okay, and. I've weighed out my coffee, obviously, and we're going to add some water. So you do that to control the, the coffee to water ratio pretty much? Is yes. That, okay. Yeah, for the French press, for this particular size, I've got about 50 grams of coffee, and I'm going to add about 900 grams of water. Okay. And I set started a timer, so we're going to let that steep for about four minutes. And I would think once you figure it out, you don't need a scale. You just know how much, maybe in a in a cup or whatever. And yeah, you, you can do that. Okay. But if you want to repeat how you do it, time after time, it's better to best way to do it to weigh it out and do it that way. So here we have. Is this just a, a normal coffee filter? No, the coffee filter that goes with that specific for for doing a pour over. Okay. Yeah, and I've got the same, they're both uh, Colombian high growns and for French press you use a lot coarser ground and for the pour over you're going to use a little bit kind of a medium fine grind. Oh, okay. And I like to do that just to demonstrate how you get it's the same coffee but you're going to get two little bit separate cups, different cups of coffee out of this. This one's going to be a little bit cleaner, Okay. you know, a little fruitier. This one's going to be more full bodied and there's going to be just a little bit more going on there. Now, if people want to replicate what you're doing here, do you have information on your website available? We do, Okay, yes. great. Yep. So pour over in French press. And this is sort of what a, a, a coffee machine at home would do. It's sort of the same general idea that you're... Yeah, it's, it's generally, you can buy actually buy some really nice brewers that, that do mimic a lot of the things that we're, what I'm doing here manually. Oh, okay. Um, but if you don't have access to that and you're, you know, and you love the Keurig, we can touch on that a little bit too while these sure. are brewing. Okay, know, let's Cameron's. do that. And a lot of people have seen this. They have uh, what, what most people see is a plastic container. Yeah, the plastic K-cups. Okay. Uh, for those, you know, plastic K-cups, the problem with those, a lot of times you'll get tunneling that goes through the, co through the coffee inside the cup. So it just goes right through yeah, the Yeah, it goes right through the cup and you don't get the full all the coffee doesn't get touched by the cup, or the, the water, I mean. So, okay, if it's okay, I'll show. Yeah, that's what it looks like after it's brewed. And you'll notice the difference here. This, this isn't all plastic like most of these uh, style cups that you see. Yeah, you're getting a lot more 
water contact with the coffee and you're getting better extraction that way. Okay. So now, are you, are you at a disadvantage a little bit because it's pre-ground or does it not make a whole no, lot? No, the, the way we package them, the, these boxes come, there's two, there, there's six, six pods in each one and okay. they're in separate uh, packages in there. And the packages are nitrogen flushed. So there's less than 1% oxygen inside there. Okay, the so biggest thing, enemy of roasted coffee is light and oxygen. Okay, light so, as well. Yep. Oxygen you figure, and that's why coffee kind of gets stale after a Correct. while if it's been exposed to air. Yeah, okay. exactly. Gotcha, all right. So so this is a, is a, is a good way, and, and I know some of these have timers on them. You can just, you know. Yeah, yeah, you know, and you know, with the, the newer Keurigs, the 2.0, Ours work in those work in those as well because we've got basically there's an optical reader in there and we so ours working at 2.0 brewers as well as pretty much all the Keurigs and aftermarket brewers as well. Okay, so uh, we've got you, you continue to dump kind of hot water through yep, the over this one's almost done filter. Uh, this one's got about well we compress it so and basically you want to let it steep for the right amount about four three and a half to four minutes okay. and then you can press and pour okay and the press is just basically kind of getting the grounds out of yeah, the way yeah you want to get the grounds you don't want grounds in your coffee when you're drinking it cowboy coffee yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay you make cowboy coffee there's different ways of doing that too so and the best way is you want to pour all the coffee before you that you've brewed because if you let it sit in there after you've brewed it it'll become over extracted okay and when coffee gets over extracted you get kind of some sour notes and stuff in there that kind of hide the other things that you are looking for in there so don't leave it sit in there too long no you don't want to do that oops well this smells Water different minutes. than the stuff we have at work i'll tell you that <laughs> so very good. And you said this this is more of a coarse grind for the French press, yes, right? Yes, you use a coarse grind, and for the pour over, you use a uh, like a medium fine grind. And which Cameron's coffee is this that we have here? This is 100% Colombian okay. high grown that we do. We do a lot of other blends. Um, you know, a lot of people this time of day like to have their breakfast blend or their lighter roast coffees, which mm -hmm. lends itself more because it, they're going to be brighter you know, and more, a little bit, touch more acidic, so. And this is the over pour. Yep, that's uh, the pour over, and careful not pour to over. burn your tongue, which happens a lot. <laughs> you don't want to burn your tongue because then you're done tasting both, coffee for the day. They're both really good. Um, I think this, to me, tastes a little stronger. Okay. More coffee. You're is probably it? getting, it's, this one's going to be a little cleaner and probably a little bit brighter than that one is. Okay, yeah. And by brightness, I mean, I'm talking about acidity. Mm -hmm. And you know how like you ha take a bite of a grapefruit or an orange or some, something very citrus and that, that kind of sparkle kind of lingers in the back of your throat? That's, that's what I'm talking about when, I'm talk when you talk about acidity and brightness in coffee. Okay. They're both very, very good. So, and this is also an option. And, and tell us, uh, tell the folks at home where they can pick up some Cameron's coffee if they're interested in. Locally, you can pick it up at a uh, Hy-Vee, or you can go to our website and type in where you're at, and it'll it'll give you uh, the different stores in your local stores where you can pick it up. And you brought breakfast blend. You brought some organic French roast, caramel brownie, so a little yes, flavor yeah, in there. Yes, we do some flavored coffees. We do a lot of a full line of organics. Um, you know, and we do the pods as well as the bag coffee. So, great ground whole bean. Well, thank you so much for sharing your knowledge with us today. I've never met someone in your line of work, so <laughs> it's very, very interesting and, and very good coffee. By the Excellent. way, this is going to wake me up very nicely on a cold Iowa morning. Yeah. Uh, have a safe trip back. Are you thank heading you. up to Minneapolis uh, again yeah, well, today? Yeah, we're going to head that way later this afternoon. Back so. to the uh, company's headquarters. But uh, thank you, Patrick. I thank really, you. really appreciate it.